to start. We'll give an overview of what the Debian publicity team does and how they work and how you can support them. So please give a warm round of applause to Cédric Boutillier and his talk, Debian, a giant with a tiny voice. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I have a kind of technical problem. I don't remember the uh, shortcut for doing full screen in Ocular. Okay. Control Shift P. Control Shift P. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, so uh, so this is my uh, first DevConf. Uh, so I would like to take this uh, opportunity to present myself. So I'm Cedric Boutillier. I'm known as uh, Boutil on IRC, and uh, I'm a Debian member since uh, 2012. And a couple of years before that, I started uh, contributing to Debian as a member of the Ruby team, and uh, I also joined the French localization team. And I started to um, translate uh, some announcements, and that's how I became part of the publicity team. So what I will talk about today is um, uh, the structure of the publicity team, the various services uh, we are handling uh, in the team, and uh, how you can, uh, in fact, get involved in the team and uh, promote Debian through the publicity team. So what is the structure of the, the team? So it's a, a bit complicated because, in fact, uh, the publicity in Debian is, uh, for the moment, two teams. So there is the press team and the publicity team. So um, the members of the press team are delegated by the DPL, and they can speak uh, in the name of the projects when it's needed to uh, contact with, uh, for example, journalists. They have a private mail alias, press uh, at debian.org, and uh, well, they serve as a contact point for um, journalists and the outside world. And there is a Debian publicity team, which is uh, much larger, but uh, well, not much larger, but larger, but not as well as um, as well structured as the press team. So we have a um, um, public mailing list, Debian publicity at least debian.org and an IRC channel um, Debian publicity. And we should also include in this team all the people doing uh, reviews, uh, uh, especially translating our broken English into uh, proper English. Hello, Justin. Uh, and all the translator uh, doing uh, the, the work to, um, to translate the, the various announcements um, in, uh, in various languages. And uh, we have also in this publicity team the maintainers of the Debian blog, so more on that later, that are also delegated by the DPL. And in fact, we should also include the, the whole project because in fact publicity uh, is the duty of the whole project and uh, everyone should be uh, concerned by, uh, by this. Um, okay, so I will now review the, the various tools we, we can have uh, in, uh, in the team. So first there are the, the press announcements. So they are published on the website in the news uh, subsection. Uh, they inform uh, journalists and uh, users of uh, important changes. And uh, they are prepared by the press team and the publicity team. team and also with uh, various um, involved team when there are specific changes. Um, so it includes uh, the, um, new, um, the new release, you know, the news for the new releases, and sometimes also um, news that are um, uh, published in coordination with other uh, companies or uh, other projects. So these um, announcements are a very official way to, to communicate about the project. And uh, on the, the wiki, at the moment, there is some information about uh, how could you approach the, the team to uh, propose um, such uh, an announcement. So there is another tool which is um, used to, um, to publish uh, communication about the project in a less formal way. It's the Debian's blog. Uh, also known as bit.debian.org. 
So it um, first lived as an unofficial service under news.debian.net for two years. Then it was reopened as an official service in 2013. So um, blog posts um, that are published there are um, um, less, um, less formal. We can have um, 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 all kinds of, um, of announcements there. So every Debian member has a commit access to the Git repository to, to draft an article, which is then uh, reviewed and before the final uh, publishing. And um, some teams already have published uh, informal reports uh, to, this, um, to this blog, and it would be nice if uh, it became something usual that uh, peop uh, teams having sprints could uh, publish uh, informal reports in, in this blog. So we have also some uh, Google Summer um, of code uh, announces and things like that. So something that I, I know um, quite well is the Debian Project News. So uh, this uh, is um, a newsletter that at its creation was supposed to be weekly. Uh, weekly released, uh, then after s some break, it uh, was revived uh, as a bi-monthly um, newsletter. But um, at the moment, uh, we kind of lack uh, manpower, so it's more or less released uh, once, uh, once a month. So what's the, the structure? Well, so it's uh, available on the on the website and the uh, news uh, weekly um, section of the website it's also released as an email on uh, debian news and on the localized version of this uh, newsletter for uh, translations it's also available as an rss feed and uh, links to the newsletter are also sent to identica so it's uh, translated into a into various languages. And um, how do, do we create this, uh, this newsletter? So we gather various information from uh, uh, mailing lists, blog posts, and uh, write some uh, short paragraphs about, the, um, about this. We have also uh, recurrence sections in this, um, in this mailing list about security announcements, um, interesting new packages, um, during freeze time, we uh, publish uh, a summary of the RC bug uh, stat statistics. And uh, recently, we added uh, some information about the reproducible uh, builds uh, statistics, too. Um, uh, new sections that appeared from time to time in the last uh, issues is the team what do you do section, which was introduced by Donald Norwood. So the principle of this section is to interview teams. So it's, uh, I think, a nice way to, uh, for users and uh, people interested in, interested in Debian in general to discover the values of uh, various teams, um, not only teams doing packaging, but uh, teams doing like um, um, cross, um, cross uh, archive uh, work or um, work on other fields of the, on the project. So if your team is invited to, uh, to answer these uh, questions, please find some time to, to answer to our email. And if your team is interested in uh, participating in this, um, in this initiative, or if you know a team that you would be interested in to, uh, knowing more about, so please uh, tell us and uh, we'll try to contact them. So um, how can you help the, um, the publicity team? Um, so you should consider publicity as a way to, to advertise your, your work. So you can first uh, join the publicity team and uh, work directly on, uh, on what we are producing, announcement or uh, this newsletter by uh, writing, reviewing, or translating articles like for the Debian uh, project news. Um, 
So Debian is a very large project, and it's very difficult for us to monitor all the mailing lists and all the, I don't know, IRC channels and things like that. So if you can help and collect some information about what happened in the project, it's very good. So for example, if you um, are um, already a Debian uh, contributor and you did or you saw something amazing in the Debian project, uh, you could just uh, send us uh, an email with just a, a few lines and a, a couple of links and we could include this in, into the newsletter. If you have um, a package that you are very happy, uh, you are very happy that this package entered the archive and you would like uh, that a lot of people use this package, you can also tell us about it and we will uh, uh, advertise it in the, in the next uh, Debian project uh, newsletter issue. Um, working on the publicity team is also a good entry point for uh, people interested in Debian but who are not contributors yet. So it's uh, a way where people can uh, learn more about the, the Debian project. And so if you are interested in, uh, in Debian and you don't know exactly where to start, uh, well, it could be a, a good starting point. So. Um, so what is the workflow we are using? So recently during DebCamp, we migrated from uh, SVN uh, to Git. So now all the um, documents we are handling are uh, kept in uh, Git repositories. So the Debian project news, the announcement, and the blog have their own um, Git repository. Uh, every Debian member has uh, directly commit access to, to these Git repositories and uh, others can easily get uh, right access by joining the publicity team uh, project on IOT. Uh, coordination uh, to produce these uh, documents, announcement and um, the DPN uh, is usually done through the mailing list or um, the IRC channel. And uh, once the announcement or the DPN is finished, then some call for review or translations are sent to um, uh, translation and uh, localization mailing list. So there are more uh, information on the, on the wiki. So there is another way to, to publish uh, news about, um, about your work, which is the MISC uh, developer news, so it's a wiki page at this uh, at this address. Uh, so this page uh, contains um, a template you can use, and uh, you can edit the the wiki page. And every time, uh, so if you are the person adding the fifth news uh, to the to this wiki page, you win the right to uh, collect these five news and send an email to uh, the Debian Devel Announce mailing list with the, the five news. So it's quite a light way to, um, to send uh, news about the, the project, uh, especially if you are not the fifth one. To write in here. Uh, so Debian is also present on uh, various social networks. Uh, so we have an official uh, Identica account um, uh, which is represented here, and we also present on uh, GNU Social, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Um, so there was a special event this year, the release of uh, JC, and we did some uh, live denting on Identica, and uh, some uh, messages were sent to Twitter during the whole weekend, uh, non-stop. We sent like 150 uh, messages. So if you want to, to propose um, uh, a dent, you can go directly to the Debian Publicity IRC channel and uh, send uh, a proposition with a dent prefix. And when the, this proposition is uh, acknowledged by someone of the team, uh, th this message will appear on the, social, uh, on the social network. You can also mail your proposition to the, to the Debian um, Publicity. So for example, if you want to publish messages about DebConf, you are welcome to, to do so. 
Um, uh, last uh, last uh, tool we have in the Debian publicity team is the uh, Debian timeline, was which was created by Chris Lamb and now maintained by the publicity team. So it's a web page uh, showing um, a timeline with the various events related to, to Debian. So you have the history of all the releases and uh, various events like uh, sprints, um, bug squashing parties, uh, various transitions and things like that. So the, all the source code of Debian timeline is maintained in, um, in a Git repository. So every Debian member can commit to the to this uh, timeline, and then a publicity member can um, upload, uh, can push to the server the, the changes to, to update the timeline. So if you can look at the, um, this uh, timeline, and if you see that some event is missing, so either directly commit to Git or uh, send us an email to the Debian publicity team to, um, so that we can add this, uh, this event. So we have also a lot of uh, projects, but uh, currently uh, have no time to implement them. So examples of this would be to revive the Debian day uh, website, which was presenting a new Debian package every day. Uh, we could also try to um, revive uh, the audio interviews in which were known under the name of this week in this week in Debian, or subtitle this the existing uh, audio interviews in English or in other uh, and translate this subtitle into other languages. Uh, we are also open to uh, new ideas for recurrent uh, sections in the Debian project news. We could also um, try to gather some statistics and. Um, um, track mention of Debian on external s websites and to see how um, Debian I is doing uh, from another point of view. And uh, well, you are uh, welcome to propose your own idea. So we ha will have a, a board this afternoon and you are welcome to, to come and uh, discuss with us your own ideas on that. So here are some uh, useful links. So for Debian contributors, you have the, the mailing list and various wiki pages about uh, the workflow of the, the team. And uh, for the users, these are the, the mailing list and the social network where we publish some information. And this is our contact information if you want to get in touch with us. And uh, please come to the, the boss this afternoon in Amsterdam room at uh, 15.00 and we will be happy to discuss with you everything related to publicity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there questions from the audience at this point? That doesn't seem to be the case. Ah. So, so less question and, and more comment, really. Um, just sort of highlighting some of the, the feedback we got around the release. Um, both, oh, he wants to stand up. Um, both the release team and basically everyone around it was really, really impressed with, with the live denting and the, and the live tweeting of the release. It's something that, that makes it really really visible for Debian and, and when we release things and we're able to, pr to produce that publicity then it then it makes Debian a really big thing so just a huge thanks really for for helping with that and I definitely encourage everyone to to get involved with with the publicity team um, it's it's also a really easy way for people to get involved so if, if you know anyone who says oh I'd like to help Debian but I'm not very good at packaging things so a bit like me as I haven't done anyone in about five years or something getting involved in the publicity team and helping out is something that, that I definitely really encourage it's a really good team really needs really needs help and it's, and we can do so much more with it At some point, there was a project to, uh, to collect a box which could be used at the exhibits, right, when Debian goes out and exhibits. 
So what is the status now of that? Did it progress anywhere? Do we have a box like in Europe, in the States, where we could easily you know, distribute to a local party to go, to bring it to the conference, and what it would constitute, I wonder. Ah. Do we have resources for, well, many people disagree that, oh, we shouldn't have stickers or something like that, which is, but I think it's uh, already a visibility, right? If we have really nice giveaways, like all those stickers we have on our laptops, of course we could buy them, right? But when we go to the conference, and the cost of those, if we print them in bulk, it's ridiculously small. Right? I think it would be beneficial if we have a box, right, which we could bring a c to a conference and has really nice banners, right, some nice giveaways, maybe not just to throw them around, but even just to, for good visitors, you know, to give a sticker. Uh, I think it's nice. And that's what we do for NeuroDevin as well. Um, so for those close to us, we give those nice stickers for the laptop, right, and they, they are happy, we are happy, and we have nice exhibit table usually, I think. So what is the status there and what we should do about it? So I think it was handled by the event team, but this event team uh, doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think that's the sound of someone volunteering. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so more seriously, um, we, I think it was um, Martin uh, Zobel wanted um, a banner and said, oh, we should have a banner. Can we spend the money? And I said, yes, carry on. Um, he said, but I haven't told you how much it costs you. And he's like, no, carry on. It's, it's not going to be like £5,000, so just go make a banner. But he couldn't get anyone to make the artwork for him or, or do anything like that. So he, he sent out some requests and, uh, and no one really was able to do that. So if you want to put a box together and you think we should make stickers, do that. That sounds good. Cool, okay. Uh, well, uh, banner, usually we use Ben Armstrong's banner. <laughs> and as for volunteer, I'm, I'm exhibiting usually at least twice a year. Yep. So, um, so I'm there already. But box, we had already some box with some hardware. And if we could reuse it, I, I wonder, you know, that would be more efficient. And, um, do we have any interest in hardware we could which we could present as well? That would be nice in that box. Okay, so yeah, volunteering. Got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need help with uh, artwork, just call Valesio. Call Valesio. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Let's give the presenter another round of applause.